Welcome to the EEV blog. I'm your host, Dave Jones, and this is episode number 16. I'm going to talk about a major problem in electronics design that uh, you've almost certainly come across, uh, you know, given enough time, but um, you may not be aware of exactly what's happening or exactly what the actual process is. And it's um, to do with every, almost every um, CMOS chip on the market. Um, and it's called, the problem, the issue is called SCR latch up or simply latch up or CMOS latch up. It goes under various names, but you know, we'll call it SCR latch up. And it's a real issue and a real trap for young players. Now what SCR latch up is, is it is an inherent problem in the actual construction of all or well, almost all CMOS devices. And, well, you know, practically most uh, chips on the market these days are CMOS in, in some way, shape or form. So it's a, it's a real issue. And what SCR latch up can do is it's a, uh, is it's a fault condition that can actually short out your power rail within your chip, a, where parasitic transistors inside your CMOS device between the power rails actually short out. So a transistor up the top, transistor down the bottom, they short out and it shorts out your power rail. And it will latch like that, hence the name, like an SCR, it latches up. These two transistors latch on and it'll short out your power rail and in a lot of cases it'll destroy your chip. There are many uh, causes for um, SCR latch up. It can be that you're simply um, overdriving the inputs or the outputs. You're actually forcing them above or below the uh, power rails. And that can actually cause it. Or another thing which can cause it is um, bad grounding technique on your actual circuit design. And another major cause can be um, hot plugging. If you uh, plug in your chip or plug in a board or something like that into a circuit that's already powered, um, then that can cause latch up too. Now I'm going to actually attempt to explain what, how SCR latch up actually works and what's actually happening inside the chip. Now I know it looks a bit complex but stay with me it's not that bad. It actually comes down to a pretty simplistic thing in the end. Now this top half here what this represents is it actually represents the uh, physical construction of the CMOS die, the actual CMOS wafer, and this is the substrate material, right? This is the top of the actual silicon, and this is the substrate material, and these here are the input and output um, FET circuits etched onto the device, okay? Now, these uh, work normally. These are the actual, here, these are the actual FETs which actually form the circuitry of the chip. But what can actually happen, well what actually does happen in CMOS devices is that due to parasitic effects, now this is what SCR latch up is all about, it's about parasitic effects. These um, transistors and, and resistances I'm going to explain here, they're not actually uh, designed into the chip, they're just a byproduct of the CMOS manufacturing process, an unwanted byproduct which is very difficult to avoid. So that's why most CMOS chips are going to have this parasitic circuit in here, and it's to do with the um, the you know it's to do with the uh, physics of actually constructing the device. So I won't go too much into that because you know you have to sort of know about CMOS construction techniques and things like that. I'm sure you can look up lots of references if you're really interested. But what happens is this: um, there's a parasitic circuit which forms in the substrate material here and what it is is it's effectively two transistors like this and some bulk uh, resistance like this. You've got two bulk resistors, two transistors, we'll call them Q1 and Q2 and they actually form um, like this. I won't explain the detail here, it's going to be more, it's going to be clearer down here in a sec. But um, these form a parasitic circuit between ground as you can see, ground over here, and your positive supply rail, we'll call V+. Okay. Now this is all happening inside the silicon substrate material. It's really got nothing to do with the circuit design, which is on top here. 
Um, so it's pretty much irrelevant um, about what type of uh, chip or circuit it actually is. And this can be the input or the output circuit. So these are input or output FETs. And this substrate circuit here becomes an equivalent circuit, if you tidy it up, an equivalent circuit that looks like this. And you've got two transistors here like this and your power supply rail, V plus and ground. Now I'll explain how SCR latch up actually works. Now if this circuit here actually looks kind of familiar to you, it, it, well it should because it looks exactly like an SCR, silicon controlled rectifier, right? It looks, it's, it's effectively exactly the same circuit, okay? But it's the same, it's an SCR connected between your power rails. And that's why it's called SCR latch up. Because in an SCR, once you, uh, once you trigger the gate, this thing latches on. And if you've got an SCR between your positive and negative power rails, you know, bang! <laughs> you know, you've got a real problem on your hands. So this is how it actually works. If you take one of your, um, your input or your output here, let's say you take this P input above this power rail, okay? You know, this power rail might be five volts. And if you take this input here, one diode drop above this power rail, so once this input gets to greater than 5.6 volts, then this transistor will trigger via this resistor here, okay? It'll go through here and through this bulk resistance R1 and that will turn on this transistor. And once this transistor Q1 turns on, bingo, it will also uh, turn on Q2 as well. And that's it, that's all that happens. If this input goes above this power rail by 0.6, this transistor latches on and this one latches on and bingo, the whole thing's latched and you've got current from V plus through to ground. And that's it, SCR latch up. And it can also happen with uh, the other input. If you take it below ground by, once again, 0.6 volts, then this transistor will latch on through R2 here. It will actually latch on. And once Q2 is turned on, um, sorry, it won't latch on, it'll turn on. So once Q2 is turned on, then that will in turn turn Q1 on and bingo, it'll latch like that. So if your input or output of your um, CMOS device goes above the power rail by 0.6 or more volts, um, thereabouts, then you're going to get SCR latch up and it can ruin your day. That's a real pain in the butt and that's how it works. So how do you prevent SCR latch up? I'm glad you asked. I've got a list of things you can do to help prevent it. First one, proper grounding. Make sure you have use proper star grounding techniques and you know, just proper grounding, but that's probably a, a whole blog in itself. Proper decoupling. Make sure you decouple your chips properly, otherwise that can cause SCR latch up issues too. Um, three, you can current limit your power supply. If uh, you can put a series resistor in, in series with your um, the power supply of your chip and that won't prevent SCR latch up, but it will prevent you actually destroying the chip from excess current. Um, but that has an issue um, for high frequency performance. So it's really only for low frequency or DC parts, like a DC op amp or something like that. Um, and the fourth one is the traditional uh, actual approach is um, clamping diodes. You use clamping diodes on your input with an input series resistor, and that will clamp your input to um, not more than 0.6 volts, so you can't get SCR latch up. And also you should clamp the um, outputs of the device as well, especially if you're driving inductive loads. Um, inductive loads are a real problem, so make sure you clamp the outputs. And that's how you prevent SCR latch up. So I hope you learned something with that. Uh, you know, SCR latch up is a real trap for young players, and it's important to design your stuff properly to prevent SCR latch up if you want really rugged designs that actually, um, you know, uh, actually don't blow up in the field or blow up in the lab even, 
just remember it, SCR Latch Up, keep it in mind next time you're designing stuff.